Terima kasih saya ucapkan kepada saudara pengacara majlis yang saya muliakan. Mr. Evin T, President of MIIP, Malaysia Interior Industry Partners and all the office barrels Yang berbahagia, Tentu Vincent Lim, founding president of Malaysian Interior Industry Partners Association. Mr. Sean Thor, the chairman of the organizing committee. Industry play, esteemed industry leaders, esteemed distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor to be here to address you at this distinguished MIIP Award Nights, celebrating excellence in Malaysia's interior and built environment. As we gather to recognize outstanding achievement, we reaffirm our commitment to innovation, sustainability, and community enrichment. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to inform you that Malaysia is now back on the right track. We find ourselves at a pivotal moment in strengthening our economy. On the broader front, our country's GDP has managed to beat expectation to hit 4.2% growth in the first quarter and 5.9% growth in the second quarters. Our ringgit currency has now strengthened against the greenback US dollars. Today, it has achieved a 4.11 against the US dollars. First, recorded its best quarterly performance over the past 50 years. And for your information, ranked for this quarter is the best performing currency, best performing currency in the world. It has appreciated 13.1% against US dollars. It has appreciated 7.3% against Sing dollars. And of course, as extra for the rest. Our inflation remains stable and low, below 2%. Our unemployment rate basically has achieved its lowest in history, which is only 3.3%. Anyone who knows economy will understand when a country has its unemployment rate below 4, we have achieved a full employment status. Ladies and gentlemen, Furthermore, in August, Malaysia's export increased by 18.9% and our exports to U.S. has increased by the amazing 69.9%. All this also adds up to the trade volume. For the first seven months of this year, Malaysia's trade has exceeded 1.69 trillion, highest record in history. All these numbers, when we gather together, in short or in a nutshell, I am confident to say all stars are aligned. Malaysia is back to be what it's supposed to be. For your industry, I am pleased to inform you, specifically for the property market. In January, my ministry has set a target that the annual property sales volume shall achieve 100 billion. I am pleased to inform you, as at 30th of June this year, only six months, Malaysia's property sales has exceeded 100.5 billion. 
If everything goes smooth, I am extremely confident by Christmas this year, Malaysia's property sales should exceed 150 billion sales. This growth has boosted demand for the interior and building industry. Definitely, one of the main beneficiaries will be ladies and gentlemen who are sitting here tonight. These accomplishments or achievements are not without hard work and effort. Since the Badani government has been formed, we are working relentlessly day and night. Arguably, I am confident to say our Prime Minister Yang Ahmad Muhammad Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim is the most hardworking Prime Minister in our history. He has never taken a day on left. His schedule is super punishing. And most important, he is wholeheartedly committed and focused to rebuild re our beloved nation and make Malaysia great again. Saudara Saudari, in the past few months, we have launched a series of initiatives such as NIMP 2030 and NETR to establish a clear direction for all stakeholders, spur economic activities and attract investment. Yesterday night, Amazon Web Services has just announced they are prepared to make Malaysia the hub of their Asia's Pacific quarters, whereby they are committed to invest 29.2 billion ringgit in Malaysia. Google has also announced they are going to invest 9.4 billion in Malaysia. Microsoft has also announced they are going to prepare to announce to invest 10.2 billion ringgit in Malaysia. All these tech giants are focusing on Malaysia. Suddenly, Everyone is talking about Malaysia and we are more than happy that Malaysia's international profile is definitely on the rise. Ladies and gentlemen, at the Ministry of Housing and Local Government, we have established a special task force to tackle issues related to delay, sick housing projects and are committed to building affordable homes for first-time buyers contributing to the estate sector's expansion. Of course, there's more to be done. The rate of urbanization in Malaysia is increasing rapidly and is expected to hit between 85% to 90% by the year 2050. This will translate into the increase in demand for quality living and working environment. While the government plays its part to ensure ease of doing business and promote sustainable development, the private sector definitely plays a crucial role to bring in innovative solutions in developing residential and commercial spaces across Malaysia. Suppliers, manufacturers, contractors, designers, Decorators must work together as a team as we navigate an evolving landscape where technology and sustainability are paramount. I have learned that our local companies have started to adopt artificial intelligence, AI technology, which has revolutionized design processes, enhancing creativity and efficiency while enabling rapid visualization of concepts. This technological integration and breakthrough not only improves productivity but also fosters innovation that can lead to groundbreaking designs. Moreover, the Internet of Things, IoT, is transforming the industry by creating smart environment. It follows, it allows us to connect various devices within our building, 
to create systems that monitor temperature, humidity, lighting, and occupancy levels. This real-time data enable us to optimize resource use, reduce energy consumption, and enhance user comfort. Subsequently, this latest technology can significantly reduce their carbon footprint by optimizing energy use and facilitating better waste management practices, which align perfectly with the Madani government vision for a sustainable economy that prioritizes environmental responsibility. By using these technologies in the interior and built industry, I am certain that the quality of living of all Malaysians will be improved. Let us celebrate the achievement recognized tonight at the MIIP Awards and the immense potential ahead for the interior industry. For your information, this coming October, on the 11th of October, Yamad Bohman, Dr. Sri Anwar Ibrahim, will officially take over as the chairman of ASEAN. And in 2025, Malaysia will be the chairman sticks of ASEAN. Cabinet has approved 357 international meetings and summits to be held in our countries. That's why we are not less ambitious. In the past, we aim to be the gateway of ASEAN. And now, we are a little bit more ambitious. We hope that Malaysia will become not only the gateway to ASEAN, Malaysia will be the epic center of ASEAN. Because by 2030, ASEAN is going to be the fourth largest economy in the world with the enormous opportunities, 685 million populations, many of it are young populations. We see the opportunity, and that's why we encourage MIIP members, bring in your foreign partners, make Malaysia their overseas headquarters with smart partnership between local players and foreign companies. Create win-win formula and make sure that Malaysia is always the first choice of investment, trade and tourism. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why tomorrow we are going to break three, three records. In the past, dulu kita selalu bincang, cuti cuti Malaysia. Sekarang kita ada hari cuci Malaysia. Besok pagi sampai malam, 12 jam, KPKT bersama dengan semua 156 PBT, semua balai bomba, Jabatan Landscape dan juga Kementerian Kementerian Sekolah-Sekolah. Lebih 50,000 orang akan ambil bahagian dalam gotong royong yang paling besar dalam sejarah Malaysia, iaitu Hari Cuci Malaysia. Kerana... Kerajaan ini adalah kerajaan yang suka kebersihan. Kita dah istihad jihad terhadap kekotoran. Malaysia deserve nothing less. And for your information, I would like to inform all sitting here, please do not simply throw rubbish. I am going to table the new law to introduce social media, social, hikmat social sejahtera like Singapore, Sweden, and Norway. Next year, if we catch you by throwing, dust throwing, rubbish everywhere, you are not only required to pay compound, I'm offering you a special T-shirts, like SBRM's lockup T-shirts, which we will give it to you, and of course not for you sitting here to enjoy your dinner, we will invite you to go and sweep the floors, sweep the street, clean up the toilet, and make sure that Malaysia is always clean. Because by 2026, we are going to welcome Visit Malaysia Year. We expect 35 million tourists to come and generate 150 billion 
tourism dollars. That's why I appeal to each and every one of you here. Semua diajak dijemput sebagai duta duta kebersihan negara. Menjaga kebersihan bukan sahaja tanggungjawab kita sebesar. Menjaga kebersihan adalah separuh daripada keimanan juga. Oleh kerana itu, saya harap tuan-tuan dan puan-puan semua akan sentiasa membantu kerajaan Madani to realize our Madani aspiration, sustainability and of course public hygiene is always very near and dear to our heart. So ladies and gentlemen, let us celebrate the achievement recognized tonight at the MIIT Awards and the immense potential ahead for this industry. Together, we can create spaces that reflect our values and aspirations and reaching the life of all Malaysians by embracing the Madani framework which emphasizes sustainability, care, compassion, respect, innovation and prosperity. We strive to become a high-technology nation and create high-income jobs opportunities that elevate living standards across Malaysia. Congratulations once again to MIIP and all the winners tonight. Well done and let us build a brighter, more inclusive and sustainable future together. Sekian, terima kasih. Sisi Tazia, Nantri Wanaka.